don't mind, I'm gonna actually um, book you for another show. So we're like, yeah, no problem. And that show happened to be this thing called Splendor in the Grass. It's like this annual festival that they have in the Gold Coast of Australia, and they bring crazy acts, man. Mainstream acts from America, Maroon 5 was there, you know, crazy con contemporary artists were there. Well, there would happen to be like a hip hop stage or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They threw us on that, man. We got on there and we did our thing, and it was amazing, bro. I never experienced nothing I like that, that, bro. I'm you, I like it. I said, I spent all my life performing and trying to get, you know, you, you do your best to try to, you know, entertain the crowd, man. But some places you don't have to do. Sometimes, you, you, like sometimes when you perform, and you, like I said, you're trying to do your hardest to get to make sure the crowd is entertained. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that's a little extra. Sometimes it, that's why you might see me sweating on stage, or you might see me, you know what I mean, hat knocked over or something. I'm trying to do. My, I'm trying to just make sure that you're entertained. But in some of these other places, their energy keeps you entertained when you're on stage. You know what I'm saying? And it makes it super easy to express what you're trying to do. Super easy to rap in front of 10,000 people. The first night that we were in Brazil, we performed in the soccer dome. 10,000 people. I told everybody put their hands in the air. I never controlled that many people in my life. You feel me? No, that's... That shit was because of music. Man. Yes, yes. I never felt that before in my life. These are, over, these are overseas scapes. I believe one day it can happen here. I don't know if it'll happen here anytime soon, but what I'm saying is overseas, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we gotta appreciate this shit, man. Super cool, man. Super crazy. Super crazy. I, I experienced my, all my first experiences with stardom would have to be overseas. You know what I mean? The little, the little smidgen of taste that I've even got of that. What do you think the dis happened overseas? What do you, you know think? What, what do you think? What do you think is uh, the disconnect? It was a good thing. It what was do you think the disconnection is from over here, from over, from over there to over here? Um, is it just saturation? The saturation. And they're and, you, and they're and they're and they're, and they're and overseas. They'd be like five years behind. You know, they'd be like five, ten years behind. So they're still listening to EPMD. You know what I mean? They're yeah. Listening to Rock Kim. Okay, solo, and then they're appreciating it. Yes, like yeah. we didn't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. They're dissecting it. How we didn't dissect it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I go there, I'd be like, oh, that's super crazy. Because I have never seen nobody go crazy off some of the, like, you know, when me and Age come out and we perform, whatever. The crowd, I've never, some of those places that we're in, I've never seen no crowd reaction like that before. You know what I'm saying? When we're in Budapest or when we're in, like I said, Slovakia or Slovenia. Bro, those people go crazy. They, they, they get like loud over your verses and shit, huh? I mean, you know, they just go crazy. They, they, they think they haven't, they don't, they just don't, they, they haven't experienced it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a super crazy. Have you ever been at a point where like you were performing and they got so loud? Is that like us? They overpowered you? Is it still there? Is it still there? Nah, nah, nah. Never that. Nah. But it's been... Like I said, they totally, they totally appreciate me in the whole scene, so that's good shit Asia. Uh, 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 Turn man I mean I think like this dog like if, it, if you could get that energy that you feel if you could get that energy that you feel documented on film man like and and be able to I would just be able, be able to watch it. You know what I mean? Like just be able to 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 capture some of it like I I know it would probably be hard because like you're going to be performing and I'm not sure if you're bringing people with you or not. No, no, no. That's the thing. That's what's crazy. I was just talking to my boy about that cuz we was like there's so many tapes. Like I got tapes that are the, you know the fat little DVR tapes yes. that used to be the you know yes. camcorder. No, yeah. no, no. You want you the upload? Camcorder. You upload? You put well, into have, a VHS like, little got, guy? You know, like you know the little chubby D DVR tapes that used to be for camcorder. Yeah. I got those ones. I got eight millimeter tapes. I got so many you different edit tapes. All that shit. When we were on tour, you know what I'm saying? All that touring that we were doing prior to 2010. All that um, touring that we were doing for prior to 2010, 
it was a MySpace era. Facebook wasn't popping like that. Nah. Da -da 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 wasn't popping like that. MySpace was popping like that, but we weren't transferring info like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't a music thing. It was, yeah. You know, you could once you know you could post your little music on your player. Yeah. That was about it. You know what I mean? It wasn't really hands on like that. Like you know what I'm saying? You could post something. Yeah. So us not uploading a lot of like man, we got archives and stuff, bro. Like seriously, bro. We got archives and stuff. You know what I mean? I got you know, I got personal interview, you know, inspect the deck telling you why you shouldn't be a rapper. Why you should go to school and be a ball player and not be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like seriously, bro, we got crazy footage, man, and all that stuff needs to be made into the world. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I'm over that stuff, bro. I'm like, yo, if we didn't do it by now, then that stuff's for me. Yeah. Then let's do the new stuff. Yeah. But that's <laughs> real, though. That's real. I'm like, let's do the like you talking about. I'm like, yo, let's do the new stuff. The new stuff that we do. Let's make sure that we live feed that when it's done. Because the thing is, you know there's no I mean? reason why there not needs to be. Home and we get the shit off the tapes and we, you know. No, turn. But you need to do is is to do it. Why you're why you're there? You need to try to no, do it while you're there. Exactly. Like while you're there, we get like somehow figure out a way that you guys are airing that shit off nah, of, off a webcam. Um, you know what I mean? And, and you contact me, and I'm throwing on the militia, like and like it, it's live, and we're and you're live wherever the fuck you're at. No, no. You know what was a good experience? Like 2008 or 2009, whenever Fire and Ice, you know the the Kelly Asian album Fire and Ice, and that album came out a hype man for the album, and we went overseas, and they had a dude that was. Recording all the time, and they live fed every night. That's sick. That, and it was super active. See, that's what I'm trying to find active. right there. Like, you know we, I mean? if I can find artistry that is that's willing, Rasco for you though. Rasco be on that shit. Yeah, he's super on top of that shit. You know because I mean? because like. All that stuff right there is just is, is just good for everything, and just to be able to show the energy that they got overseas would be awesome, you know. Uh, just to bring it to just show us because I think a lot of times we only get like the way a lot of the, the, the stuff works on the internet is you get what is what Google gives you in your in your in your area. Yeah, you know what I mean like it's not going to give you like all the feeds that are. Nah, what's trending? Or whatever, yeah, or how well, are they doing? not just that. It, it goes like it, like a lot of it. It goes off of, of, of like the the area that you're in. So. So like they might be putting the stuff on YouTube that they got of you, but it's really not going to come over here because you'd have to specifically type in wherever show that was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And whatever that that title is, what they're going to give you is a bunch of stuff that's from the states and from every state that you're in. Like you're going to get you're going to get some stuff that is that is uh, that is worldwide, but it's a lot more limited to to where you're at. You know what I mean, that's just the way that that's just the way the search engines work, and so uh, uh, and I learned that more and more as, as far as you, when you're trying to search for things more and more and more, it just it's just they, they work off of the analytics where whatever whatever it's whatever is working in that region. So like you're gonna have a bunch of stuff maybe that's being that's even there accessible, but if you don't know what exactly that is to put in that you're looking for, you ain't gonna be able to find it, and you're just gonna get like the same old stuff that people pop in, but but they uploaded here in Fresno. You know what I mean? And so. Like, like when I, when you go to try look for something, you're not always finding what's really, really out there because you're limited to that search, and, and it's just weird the way that works. Like the more I'm getting learning more about how the internet works more and more, and trying to figure out, trying to find different videos because I mean you gotta go, you gotta go grind to look for good shit. Hey, that's, 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 that's yeah, savvy, right? Mm -hmm. Right, huh? So we talk be. about all the time, right? You gotta be, man. It's tech savvy, right? You know what I mean? That like, should be his nickname. Yeah. Sev's nickname. Right. It tech should. Savvy. It should. <laughs> nah, because, you know. That's it, dude. Damn. That's your new DJ name. Not that Sev is. And that's, that's super that. crazy, bro, because it's like. Tech savvy. Switch. Who's tech savvy? Who the fuck it, is tech savvy? Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's he's just 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 there he is, right there. There he is. Tech savvy. Tech savvy, what's up? Nah, man, but it's super crazy how I switch because. In 2000, they was giving out. They was giving out checks still. You feel me? Yeah. I was going doing to, the yeah, I was going to the record company. Yo, put like this. In 2002, I had two record deals. One of my record deals I got with my homeboy up front. We split. And the other record deal, my A&R said, "How do you want your money?" I said, "I'll take it monthly." Yeah. So we broke down my shit. I got 1900 for 19, like almost, it was, a, it was about 18 and a half, you know, joints, you know what I'm saying? So however, whatever 18 racks, whatever 18,000 was,
over to whatever, whatever attitude. If you were getting eighteen hundred a month, that's how long I got. We didn't even give them the hour. Oh, no, what? they were just they were just seventy five hours. They had Deltron, Deltron. Uh, Deltron 3030. Yes, they're still pushing that. Yeah, day. you know what I'm saying? To this day, just, they just did a rejuvenation. But the reason of that, that, shit. that shit was popping was because music was still. A truck. It was still. Uh, uh, it was still trustworthy. You know what I mean? Like, there was a market for what you were putting out. When we would put out 12 inches, when from two, from 99 to 2001, when we were putting out 12 inches, my first 12 inches was put out by DJ Fingers. Hey, right straight up records. in Amoeba. DJ Fingers is the same brother who made Lean Like a Cholo, who later on go on to make Lean Like a Cholo. But at the time, Fingers just had a company called Certified Records. We put the joint out. And we did good. He got me my first deal. I remember seeing. The I went shit. from recording at Eyes House. <laughs> I went from recording to Eyes House. I went to Oakland one day to record with A. She introduced me to Art. We recorded. All right. We turned it in. I got a record deal, and it was all history from there. Art was my point good. is, is that at that time the record companies weren't afraid to give to the artists, bro. I feel bad for some of the artists that come out now because they're so talented and they don't have the resource. No backing. Not even the resource for not even the resource not even the resource for promoting or flyers. I'm talking about to live. That money I, some of that money I some of that money I put away and I live off today. I invested my father kind of helped me out, you know. I didn't just, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, I don't want, I don't, it was the type of money they was giving rappers in two, and I'm not, and we don't, and I don't want to sound ancient, like, they was giving rappers this, that, it, this is 2000. That's how fast just Yeah, this is just how fast it, it, it all changed on us. It's getting faster and faster every day. Yeah, and the money got shorter. But the yeah. thing, what I'm trying to say, and, I'm, and believe me, brother, I'm not at all trying to, right, this is a young brother right here who's trying to make it in what I do. And I don't want to deter him in any, you know what I'm saying? But I feel bad. I feel bad that cats that are coming out nowadays who got talent and would be signed by the same companies that I got signed by, those companies aren't signing people like that no more. They're not giving you $260,000 like that no more to split with your producer. Hey, you guys find out however you're going to get the record done. You guys get it done. I don't care if you guys record it in your closet. Just get it done. You know what I mean? Those days are gone, but they were beautiful, man. And I feel bad for like, you know, I feel bad for rappers that are, you know, not rappers. I don't want to say rappers like that, but I feel bad for musicians in general in my genre of music that are coming out now who don't have that type of support. You know what I mean? I went on tour when I was 19, bro. When I was 19, I went on my first tour. I opened with, I used to hype man for Encore. This kid named Encore. He, you can look him up. He was out of um, Mil, Mil Peters. Oh, real cool, bro. He's Ill. Real cool. I, hyped, I used to hype man for Encore. We went on tour with Dell, the Funky Homo Sapien, and Black Delicious. We'll put this in. Encore's <laughs> part of... We did 27 cities, Colorado to Cleveland. It was ill, man. I'm like, that opportunity ain't there for 19-year-olds no more. If it was, then he would be on a tour right now. Or he, you know what I mean? And even, and even if it is possible, it's real selective. People are really looking out for their own people, you know what I'm saying? If there is anybody getting a little handout, it's somebody real close. I was working with somebody not even from my city. This happened all through, you know what I mean? I met Age, Age introduced me to Architect. Architect had a deal with Encore. I reported with Architect. Architect said, yo, Encore needs a hype man. We're about to go on tour. We want the job. I said, oh, yeah. And when next thing I know, bro, I'm a 19 year old kid on tour. Fresh out of his studio. We used to come watch him San Jose. You feel me? We so seen, I was like, y'all trying record. to put it all together, you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting money. And I'm from the labels because that was what the labels, you know, that's what how it goes. It was in the budget. That's how it goes. It was in the budget. Was it was automatic. Money. It was automatic. Now it's like, fuck. We, we can't do it and at all. I didn't know what to do. I'm keep it real, bro. Like I said, in the beginning, beginning, I didn't know what to do with some of that money. That's why I had to. 
get it together and realize what I was going to do. Because in the beginning, I was like, it's crazy. Where do you think that resource is gone? Everybody wanted to be so independent. Everybody wants to do... The people that were getting left out tainted everything. People that, you know, when we were going on tour for 27, you know, 47, 42, 32 city tours, you got people who started to go on three city tours who would set up a show in Bakersfield, Fresno, and Modesto and call that a tour. And, it, and, and they have their shit running shitty. It's nothing like a tour. Excuse me. Nothing like a tour. When you go on tour, you treat it a certain way. When you're on tour, it's a privilege. You know what I mean? Setting up, you know, shows that, you know what I'm saying, coincide with each other. That's not a tour. That's setting up shows that are back to back to back to back. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? People start attending shit like that. You know what I mean? People want to take stuff in their own hands. They don't really realize how much it costs to put a record out. People want to put records out. You know, um, people want to you know press up a thousand a thousand copies and think that that's gonna like come on, bro. You don't even got a publicist. Fuck a thousand copies. Go pay your publicist if you even have one. If you don't have one, then go find one before you press up a thousand copies because those thousand copies are going to be in lampshade holders in your living room and just fucking shit in the way. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I got put out and that was distributed had power behind it. Even to this day. Next project coming out, GCM. Wandering Works Distribution. Those people got money. I don't got the money to do that shit. Those people got fucking 45000 to put into that shit. I don't. You know what I'm saying? They're putting the money into that. That's a little bit of money, too. Fabulous come out. JD Kiss come out. They're fucking... Their budgets are a million dollars. You feel me? So if you're not on a major label, are you prepared to put out fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars to make your product sell? Because it has nothing to do. At a certain point, it has nothing to do with what's on the CD. It can be crap on the CD. We all know that now. But if you have the money to promote that and put it in people's faces every single day. And that shit sucked the life out of everything. Now they don't got no money. You feel me? It sucked the life out of everything, bro. Now cats are running around, you know, care, they care about singles more than they can do with albums. Cats don't care no more about make, going into the studio and making an album. A good album, exactly. They want one song. They want to make one song, one hit, because they think that's what it does. Man, that's fucked up, man. They think that one song is going to make the whole album. And I look at cats, I'll be like, man, bro, I'm like, you know, some cats that are doing damage. I'm like, man, I wish you were doing that damage in 2002, 2001. You paid right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the truth, B. You could go into a label in, back in those days, bro, and hand them a CD and be like, this is what we got coming. And the dude will listen to it. Yeah, you have to send a picture. Yeah, to you. So you you take a picture with you too. Be like, get the shit popping. So, <laughs> so get the paperwork popping. I, right, which, how much you talking about? Hey, if you don't mind me asking, man, what did happen to Encore and Art, man? Encore is good. Encore just had some kids. Okay. He put out his last record in um, two thousand and four, two thousand and five on Hyro. I cut this shit with Mecca. His last here. record, his last record was on Hyro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the take, the layover. Okay. Um, he's doing good, man. I talked to him. He sells real estate. Uh, okay. He's doing good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Architect's doing good. Architect just released another album with Opio. Oh, nice. Okay. He's still producing. Opio does work in Modesto, close to us a lot. Architect works with this one kid, Persevere. You know Persevere? You remember Persevere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Persevere is on Dr. Dre's writing team. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he up. writes on that team. Yeah. So Architect be out there, you know, he helps him with beats or whatever, you know, whatever his ghost writing, he's helping him with that. So they're doing good, man. You know what I mean? How about Fingers? Was he at? Fingers is doing good. Last time I seen Fingers, he had a yellow Hummer. Sorry. And he was and he was on his way to the ABN, the adult. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So he was doing super good. Yeah, he was doing super good. Yeah, I was like, nah. But he was nah, but Fingers is good though, man. Fingers used to DJ for um, Exhibit. 
Okay. He's a big Zibbis DJ back in Zibbis heyday. He's, cool. he's good, man. Like I said, he, I flew in on the dude Lean Like a Cholo. That's self explanatory. There you go. You know there you what I mean? Go. He produced Lean Like a Cholo. Shout out to you, fingers. <laughs> hey, I remember, you know I mean? I remember this cat back in about shit. I don't remember when. No, nah, but hey, but what, not to cut you off, but just let me say this, though, to the fingers, because. Ever since day one, man, that dude always, that dude signed me to my first record deal over the phone. My first single deal, got my money in the envelope through the mail, he signed me over the phone, he told me to play the record from over the phone, we play the record over the phone. Always believed in me. And to this day, we still do records. It don't be records that he puts out, we'll license the record. He'll hit me up and be like, yo, I got somebody who wants to license some music, whatever. Cool. I know you get a cut out of what I'm doing, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Keep a good relationship. You know what I'm saying? He stays busy. Good dude. Can't complain. You know what I'm saying? And he got a fucking, uh, he got a porn star, uh, chick that keeps him busy too. Yeah, I, I forgot her name, G. I forgot her name, G. I forgot her name, man. Damn. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but she's super popular. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got her movie like wow. right now, man. <laughs> 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 I don't know, it's got a movie. So you know her name, man. No, no, yeah, I, man, I'm, the name is on it. I, yeah. I don't remember the name in it. Nah, but Fingers is a good dude, man. That dude always, it's crazy because, like I said, the first record that we did, I was super excited about it. It was just a, it was just the 12-inch coming out. And I went to I and I was like, yo, we need to do some promotion. Remember we did the promotional uh, poster for that? Remember you did the 12, remember we did, I sat in the staircase. It was cool. Remember? Yeah, yeah, it was super cool. What do you mean? I went and fucking put the posters up on the, uh, in front of um, Tower Records. And I fucking posted them on the electrical boxes. And I went home and I was chilling and the captain's calling me like, yo. Fucking on black, so like I see your fucking shit right here. They ripped them down, like, wow. yeah, that's me right there. You know what hey, I mean? what year was that? That was like, um, 99, 98? 98, 98 or 99. And about by like 2000, I'm commuting up to the Bay Area, checking out the record stores in Amoeba in Berkeley. They used to have this thing, it was like the top 15 or some shit like that. The top 15 singles, you know what I mean, in the Bay Area of hip hop. And uh, there you have it, Turb and Art, you know what I mean? So now, right. we, were, we, was, we was number seven. Like, we was number seven for 14 weeks on that thing that he's talking and about. you know what? That, that shit was huge. Like, that, yes. that, 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 that was pivotal. That was pivotal. That was No, look, I'm going to tell you, we did, we did so like good that year. For yourself, for yourself. No, 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 I was so, man, I was, I was, I was flattered, man. You know, no homo, but... but. We did so good that year that they put a fucking bill. If you ever been to Rasputin's, if you look up in Rasputin's on Telegraph, they got bill, they got um, covers of different artists. They featured us as one of the artists <laughs> on the store. So I came to, I went to Telegraph like, yo, and we're right there on the thing, bro. I was yeah. tripping out, man. I was like, yo, that's super good, man. You know what I mean? I was just proud, man. I was hella happy. We were, we were, and at that time, though, what I just talked about that all that label income. That wasn't kicking. So at that point, it was just pure merit. You know what I mean? I was just super happy. Was just I couldn't believe that I fucking was on the Billboard thing right there. You know what I mean? With I don't remember. I couldn't. I don't remember what artist was next to me or whatever. But I knew everybody. Every artist up there was respected. Me. You know what I mean? I know they just don't got. This, you know what I mean? So I was super. Proud. Things like that, man, that kept me. That's the kind of stuff that fueled me, man. It kept moving. There are some things I could have done without, you know what I'm saying? But that's the kind of stuff I think I needed. You know what I mean? Yeah. To, to, to succeed, you know what I mean? I really know what you mean. So, you, and you've been, you know, you've been almost full circle, man. So, um, now, 2013, Fresno, Turbin, now that we know what you do over there, which is fucking awesome, what can we do here? You know, like, yeah, we're bringing in shows, you know, but, you know, me when I'm bringing in shows, um, I would love to be like, hey, hey, T, let me know which one you want. You know, I can't put you on all, on all of them, make you a part of all of them. But what would you prefer? Because that helps me in my fucking scheme of things. Yeah. Because 
And another reason why I, I, I mention this is because, come on, man, there wasn't, you know, there wouldn't be really uh, a scene here, what little scene we had, hip hop wise, you know, without guys like you said. Yeah. And, 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 and the years before you. No, and I respect, man, I, you know, I respect so, you know, that you man, gotta, a lot, you know, man. And I don't vocally. Um, that says a lot. I don't vocally do this you know, because I don't really know how to, man. I just, I just work hard. And uh, I'm the type of guy that, 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 like, I'm just addicted to the biz. You know, like, I don't, you know, I don't care about the uh, or the credit or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Like, I nerd out on other shit. Um, so, you tell me, man, what we can do for you. That's the way, that's the way, that, that's, that's the way it seems should be, you know? It's like, hey, honor, honor your past. I know where I've come from. And I'll always, and I'll never forget that. You know, I come from a dirt, I come from, you know, and I'm, you know, in a good way. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know I, mean? I, I think that you, like I was talking, I, I, no, I was just talking to my boy. That's crazy that you said it because I was just talking to my boy about that. We were talking the other day, and he was like, "Yeah, it's, it's, you need to come over to New York, you know. You, you need to come over here and move and move, move, move. But, you know, I was like, man, you know, I need to stay home right now, man. You know, age constantly been bugging me about moving to LA. You need to be out here more. And I'm like, yo, we need to be. I'm, I'm like, yo, I need to be." Yeah. yeah. You feel that right now? Like I channel all this energy. You feel that like right I don't now in 2013? Cause, Cause I could probably guarantee you didn't feel that maybe five years ago. No, what? five the five I years ago I felt necessity to be out of town. Like yo, I gotta be making those moves out of town. So why now? Because I'm because. Just curious. Not why now? Because. If not now, then when? When will it ever happen if nobody puts the brakes down and says, yo, we got to generate some type of radiation here. We got to radiate here and generate like some source of energy. The coals are like, hot. Man. Yeah, they're the exactly. Are but I'm saying to keep those coals hot, burning hot, you know what I mean? Because the coals can go out and go dull sometimes. And, you know, you keep them going, you know, we'll, we'll, they can go gray and then we'll sit there and go... And then, you know, they'll get still come up. When's yeah, this shit gonna get hotter? When's that's this what I'm saying. Hotter? So I'm like, yo, you gotta, gen we gotta find a way to radiate shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to leave my city. I know they say they say all the time, you know, there's nothing popping in Fresno, there's nothing going on, but we got every tool that you need to make this shit work, bro. All the way around, thank you. All the way around, from what you guys do to producers to rappers, you know, you guys know about. It. You guys work with all the rappers here in town. You know the, you know the, the, the depth of what's going on here, from Fash to to Planet Asia to you know what I mean to Diego Red to you know myself to this kid to you know to some of these young, yeah some of these younger kids on like Aura you know what I'm saying some of these guys the Halo I see young with Halo recently yeah you know what I'm saying so it's like. You know, it's important, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that, you know, that stuff is, is spread around. But I'm like, we got to find a way to radiate, man, you know what I'm saying? How do you think it'd be the best way to get us all together? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, because that's where I feel the disconnection is right now. It's, it's we're all, everybody is, 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 is fighting each other instead of all coming together and, and, and crushing it. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's, that's where... Or what I'm trying to do is figure out some way, somehow, that like that uh that that we could go into this to this next year coming up where where people supporting each other instead of always trying to bring each other down like like or or a lot of times they're only they're only gonna go to their shit like that their own their own shit that they're yeah, throwing yeah, you know what I mean like that they're doing you know what I mean like they're only gonna do their shit that they're doing you know what I mean and, and, yeah yeah like yeah like yeah like you gotta be able to like just go out and just just support everybody just, I know this is my you said a couple key words there man this isn't my thing right now this is, he's doing this shit but I just wanna say. Fresno is a is a rough, rough, rough city, and if you're not gonna give love to the city, the city's not gonna love you back. So you support the city, and I'm not just talking about rap. I'm not talking about hip hop. Support mom and pop fucking restaurants. Hell support yeah. support the uh, the Mexican cats down the street. You know, selling ice creams and shit. Support the city so the city can support you back, and that's what it is. It's, 
we all have love and give each other love one you know unity then we're gonna be up there man we're, we're all gonna come together and love is powerful you know what i mean and that's what fresno's missing that's the biggest thing that fresno's missing that's a beautiful word you said love is powerful man because you know what it, 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 it sometimes people are scared to say that these days you know what i mean People are scared to say that these days, man. And, and hip hop is love. You know what I mean? It's love. You know what I mean? That's what motherfuckers are forgetting. That like that it, 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 it's all about personification of what something is false that you ain't even doing. You know what I mean? Just to hopefully get to doing about what you're talking about instead of really saying what you're doing and being proud of whatever the fuck you're doing. You know what I mean? And just being proud of being you. You know what I mean? Not of being proud of what. The, you want people to think you are You know what I mean and, 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 and so If we could Just try to Break down those boundaries Because there's so much Of that here man Like And, and start to Just come together And, and, and create this Positive energy of, 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 of just Loving our culture and, and, and You know Becoming a fan again You know what I mean Just becoming a fan again Yeah I think the city I think, the, I think our city Has a Has got Lost touch with that You know what I mean I, I, you know, I think how many of, years, think, brother? How many no, I think, decades? I think it's because no, I think what you guys do is is great. You know, from Elzai to from Elzai to you guys brought High Road, right? You guys brought we guys who brought High Road? Not me. Make, somebody brought High Road. Who brought High Road? Someone, someone at Babylon. Oh, no, 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 no. I see. We we High Road was at um, Fulton. I missed that show. No, they, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. They were I'm there. saying. Couple, I'm just saying. I, well, I apologize. I thought that was y'all. I'm just saying. No. You guys do the Elzai like show. Mm -hmm. That's Johnny. You, Johnny. you do the Elzai like show. I'm just saying, uh, you know, just speaking in unison, those acts, man, say a lot. Like yes. Elzai. You speak volumes, you know what I'm saying? Active. Um, you know, some of the, I can't remember some of the artists you talked about. Diviasi. Who brought, but who did you, somebody came before Elzai, that was super, oh, okay, Murph Fair came, Munch, Fair and Munch. Feral Munch came, and, um, you know, Devin came, oh, these I'm are names, bro, like, the, like, that's, like, you know, I feel What's like, your advice to us? I feel like those are good touches on, 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 on what the city needs, I feel like the city gets robbed a lot. Oh, all the like, time? Yeah, there's a lot of artists that come to our city. They get the money. I don't know. I, I don't know what caliber of show they put on compared to what they really could put on. I don't know. You feel me? So I don't know yeah, when they yeah. come to the city. I don't know what kind of show they really put on. But I know I'm not gonna say no names, but I know there's a lot of artists that come to our city and half ass it. And half, you know, you know, and then you know, so it's like I can see how it's hard for somebody to say, well, they don't want to come out and, and spend, you know. Ten, fifteen dollars. They don't think they're gonna get a good show, or you know what I mean. It might be, you know, it might be some booty shit, or a fight might break out, or you know what I'm saying. There's a lot of things that are fighting against that ten dollars. Yes, you know, and, and, I mean? and really, when and the ten dollar investment is very little to have a great show, <laughs> and it's you know really, I mean? yeah, and it's critical. Well, I think because I think what we need to like, start that, that ten dollars to somebody is critical. Yes, it is. That that could change someone's life, you know, a show. You know, yeah, you you never know what's gonna happen when you go out there. That's why, like, you should be involved because the more you're involved, the more the more game you're gonna soak. You know what I mean? And shit changes lives. You know, like I seen KRS and 